Wrong answer. I'm sorry. Let me out. Please, I can't do this anymore. Please continue. Are we intrinsically wired to follow the instructions of our superiors? The leader of the wolf pack, the chief of the tribe, to stay safe? They are generally considered to be superior and more capable, and following them tends to ensure your safety. But would you still choose to obey when they care for nothing but their own personal interests and disregard your welfare? Sam. Hi, nice, Sam. Nice to meet you. Please follow me. Okay. Lawrence, this is Sam. Sam, this is Lawrence. Hi, Sam. Your role in the experiment depends upon which card you choose. One card says student, and one card says teacher. Simple enough. Good, so you'll be the teacher. Uh, please follow me. Sit here. Lawrence, please come with me. The experiment involves reading this list of words to the student. Mm -hmm. He has to remember how they are paired. All you have to do is, if he gets something wrong, you have to deliver a punishment. The punishment comes through these electrodes, which I'll demonstrate. Please show me your arm. They'll be on the student, like this. If he gets an answer wrong, you simply administer a shock like this. That's um, that's quite a shock. Each time he gets the answer wrong, you increase the shock by 15 volts. Increase the shock? Correct. Okay. Sun. Flower. Band. Water. Television, sock, river. After reading the lists of words, the teacher is given another list of words. This time, the teacher must read the first word of the pairs and give multiple choices for the second word of the pairs to test the student's memory. Of course, with each wrong answer, the teacher shocks the students with progressively increasing voltage. Mind you, the shock generator is capable of delivering up to 450 volts. Bitter telescope. All done? Mm -hmm. All right, here is the second list of words. It contains the first word of each pair, along with three unrelated words. The second word of the pair is embedded in between the other two. Mm -hmm. And if he gets it wrong, I give him a shock again. Correct. You start at 15 volts, yeah. and each time he gets an answer wrong, you increase it by one notch here. Okay. Ready? Let's begin. Sun, horn, train, flower, energy. Flower. Correct. Band, milk, red, sword, water. Water? Oh, 
Good job. Television, pencil, sock, static, airplane. Static. Sorry, that's wrong. 15 volts. Ow! Luckily, this experiment is not as it seems. The student, who is apparently being shocked, is actually an accomplice of the experiment and is not being shocked at all. His answers and his screams of pain were actually pre-recorded according to the voltage levels. You can't keep me here. Let me out. Let me out. teacher who is being tested to find out if an ordinary person like you or me would act inhumanely to the point of killing someone just because they are told to do so by an authority figure. As it turns out, many people will. Band. Milk. Red. Sword. Water. Ben. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The correct answer is water. I'm going to have to give you a shock. Ah! Oh. Hunter. Canoe. Lighter. Fighter. Runner. Lighter. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Look, are you promising this isn't going to cause him any lasting damage. I'm really not comfortable with this anymore. There'll be no permanent tissue damage. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Okay, I've got to carry on. Uh, another list of words is coming. River, door, bottle, pencil. I can't even hear him anymore. He's not responding. Are you sure he's okay? The experiment must proceed. Hello? You okay? Have I killed him? What's going on? Please continue. Okay. There's a 400 volt shot coming. You can hear me still. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, another list of words, I'm sorry. Despite the number of people who blindly follow authority, there are those who follow a strict moral code and are willing to defy. That poor guy's getting hurt in there. I can't be responsible for this. I don't want to do this anymore. He's hurting in there. He's in pain. I can't be responsible for that. Please proceed. No, it's not fair. I'm not going to be responsible for hurting someone I don't even know. I'm not going to continue. It's just not fair. The experiment must continue. So which will you be? If or when the situation is thrust upon you, the mindless drone who always listens to authority without hesitation, or the doubtful mind who always questions the credibility of the ones above you. I'll leave it up to you to decide.